as many of you have realized by now, C major and C Ionian use the same collection of pitches, and they also both use C as their home base. So they're the same thing, right? Well, no. By calling a key a major key, there's implied harmonic function. This harmonic function revolves around the relationship between tonic and dominant. The dominant has such a close relationship with tonic because of the leading tone. T really wants to go to Do. 5 really wants to go to 1. In tonal music, we often start with the tonic, go off and do some other stuff, then come to the dominant, and then come back to tonic. A really common tonal progression would be 1, 2, 5, 7, 1. A chord progression so common in jazz, you might as well call it cliche. There are particular rules that govern tonal music. So if a piece is in C major, we would expect an ongoing relationship between C and G a relationship marked by tension and resolution. But if we're in C Ionian, the harmony is no longer bound by the tonic dominant relationship. The melody becomes the driving force behind the harmony. We still have a home note, which is C, the final, and we would still expect to see the piece start and end on C, but the chord progressions that get us from place to place are more open-ended. Perhaps we get back to C by way of the two chord or the three chord. Of course, in Ionian, the leading tones still exist, so the possibility for a 5-1 cadence is still there, but their relationship is heavily weakened, and it's not nearly as important as it is in tonal music. For example, in Ionian, we may see a 3-5-1 chord progression. We still have 5-1 to one motion, but it's been severely weakened since we came from a 3 chord. In conclusion, yes, C major and C Ionian are very similar. They share the same collection of pitches and the same home note, but the difference lies in the harmonies that govern the piece. If it has a strong tonic dominant relationship, it's probably tonal. If it doesn't, it's probably modal. Of course, many pieces contain elements of both tonality and modality, especially in the 20th and 21st centuries. I said next time we'd look at the Dorian mode, and here it is next time, and we definitely didn't look at the Dorian mode. Sorry, I get distracted. Thanks for watching this episode of Two Minute Music Theory. If you like what you saw, please like and subscribe. Also be sure to check out my other channel, Jesse Strickland Music, which is home of all of my compositions. And if you're the kind of person who uses social media, feel free to connect with me there.